Um, Men, Women, and Children is about a, a group of teenagers and their parents living in a small town in Texas, and uh, they're just trying to negotiate their day-to-day -day lives, and uh, it ends up being a bit about sort of our relationship with the internet and how we communicate, but I think it's mostly about the, these specific characters and their communication with each other. Yeah, I mean, I think that everyone brought something a little bit different. I think this is something that we haven't seen Adam Sandler do before, first of all, which I was really excited about and really pleased with. Um, and I think that, you know, even even Ansel, who has, you know, had an opportunity to do these really amazing sort of, you know, bigger pictures, got to sort of um, uh, be a bit more contained in a nice way. And I feel like each, each one of our actors is just truly special and brought something really amazing to it that... Uh, um, hopefully is a slightly different version of what you've seen them do before. I, I will admit that uh, as soon as we wrapped shooting, I drove from Austin back to LA and turned off my phone for five days, but I'm not sure that I will ever do that again because that was a very frustrating time. I think it just made me more aware of, you know, wanting to connect with people directly. I think Jason had a truly brilliant idea in sort of incorporating the screens on screen as the sort of desktop. And he worked with Smith & Lee Design to really uh, find ways to show that at every time that we were seeing things on screen. And I think that it's funny because I find it to be such an innovative and new way of showing things on film, but we're all so used to looking at the desktop that I think people forget that it hasn't been shown quite this way before. And so it's been, a, it's been an interesting process because I found it quite ingenuitive. I remember getting my first cell phone and it was, you know, at a similar time. And so I think that, uh, I think it's nice to sort of see the evolution and realize that we still have no idea what we're doing with it. Of course, I mean, Jason is one of the most exciting and uh, innovative uh, young directors in the business. Can you just talk about the relationship working with him and what makes him such a unique voice in cinema? Um, yeah, it's been a real thrill. We've been working together for about eight years now, and I think that it's um, it, it, he's someone who can portray realism and honesty in a way that is, I think, quite special and very difficult to do on film. And uh, So, yeah, I, uh, I feel very lucky that I've been able to work with him for so long. We're shooting a movie called Demolition right now that Jean-Marc Vallée is directing, and uh, that's shooting in New York that I'm quite excited about. It's a script that's been around for a long time, and I'm very, very thrilled that we get to finally bring it to life. And then um, we're actually working on a couple TV things right now, so we'll uh, hopefully get those together soon. Will that be TV things that Jason would be involved in, or just the company? Yes, both. Can you tell us anything about those projects, when we might be seeing them, or, or what kind of tone? No? I don't know yet, but hopefully soon. What does it mean for you to bring the film here to the London Film Festival? Oh, it's a thrill. I mean, I, I feel quite honored because we have both this and Whiplash here this year. And so having two films at the London Film Festival, just I feel quite spoiled and lucky. And it's been it's been a real dream. It's very quickly. I'm sure we'll catch you at the Whiplash premiere. But um, can you tell us a little bit about that one? Obviously, a, a wonderful star turn, both from Miles and JK, of course. Yeah, they're both phenomenal in it. And it's a, it was a tiny little movie we shot right before we shot this one. And it's been uh, it was a crazy, crazy fall to get them both done. And so it's been a real thrill to be on the other end of it. And JK and Miles are, are just so incredibly talented. And I, I think they really have the ability to showcase those talents in Whiplash. What are you hoping an audience overall takes away from the experience of watching this film? Um, I hope that it just starts a conversation. I think that it's, you know, I, I worry about things that uh, when we're ho hopefully doing something that's so current, I don't want it to seem like we're trying to say or give some sort of message to it. I just hope that it means that people start talking more and, and talk about what they, what they saw and what they think about it. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, my, that's my hope.